Today I'm in Hakone and today we're going to jump on the Hakone Tozan Railway. Again, welcome to another video and I'm excited to show you this one today for two reasons. Number one, this is one of three mountain railways here in Japan. And mountain rails are generally built a little bit differently because of the grades they have to uh, deal with. And number two, this railway was actually damaged during the uh, hurricane, hurricane, during the typhoon in uh, October 2019 and recently just opened in July, three weeks ago, in July 2020. So I'm happy to have this opportunity to show you and to enjoy this fantastic little railway. The line itself runs from Odawara to Gora, where I'm at right now, and is split into two sections. And we're going to be looking at the section from Gora to Hakone Yumoto, which takes care of the, the mountain area. So whether you're interested in planning a trip to Hakone or Japan, or you're interested in checking out a small local railway, this video is for you. So come along, let's jump on the train. Gora Station is a small country station at the end of the line. There are several small shops and restaurants around the station, however many visitors simply transfer to the cable car to continue their journey to Lake Ashi. Visitors can use a transit car, however the Hakone Free Pass is the best deal, as it covers your train from Tokyo and all the transportation in Hakone, which consists of more than half a dozen different modes. Speaking of trains, they operate fairly frequently, so it's not too long before one pulls into the station. Trains come in either two or three car configuration. One modification of this mountain railway are the noticeably smaller, shorter length cars. This allows the train to handle those tighter curves along the mountain. Gora Station is 553 meters above sea level. When we reach our destination of Hakone Yimoto, 8.9 kilometers away, will be down to 108 meters. This is an average grade of 5%. As we continue our way down, we really get an idea of how sharp the turns are for the train. Also, as the railway reopened less than a month prior, repairs were still underway. Nonetheless, you get a sense of how high we are and how close the railway is to the edge at times. There are several types of cars employed on this line, and I recommend these newer cars with the large windows. They have six box seats with a few seats for two on either side of the car. It's nice, open, and you have this little table to hold your drinks or belongings for your journey. Even during the high travel season, which there wasn't one this year, when trains are a little more crowded, these large windows ensures everyone can enjoy the view. Due to the lack of space and grades this railway deals with, it employs a series of switchbacks to quickly ascend or descend, which is a different experience. The switchbacks are essentially like steps for the train. So the train pulls into the waiting area, the driver and conductor switch, we wait for the train headed the other way and glare awkwardly at the other passengers, and then we continue our way back down to the next switchback. There are three in total on this line. It really doesn't matter which car you're in since the front and back alternate several times throughout the trip. There are a few tunnels in the lower portion of the railway. The single track has doubled its stations to allow trains to pass. Some stations are a little quieter than others. The Hakone Tozan Railway has the steepest grade in Japan at 8%. On that part of the line, the front end of the train is 2.5 meters higher than the rear. One last adaptation of this railway is that water is sprayed on the tracks as the train makes its way to reduce wear and tear. You can see trains being replenished with water at the station. Six stops and about 40 minutes later and we're reaching the end of the line. Hakone Yimoto is the busiest station for this mountain railway as it's a transfer station from trains from Tokyo. There's many shops in the area outside near the station. 
the small center is worth stopping by and checking out in between trains. Alright, so we made it to Hakone Yumoto Station. I'm going to end it here. It's a great little uh, line. A couple things to note. Uh, number one, uh, aim for one of the newer cars like the one behind me. The windows are larger. You get the box seats. And I think it gives you a better uh, better experience than just like a standard commuter car, which there are a few of them. Uh, and number two, definitely pick up the Hakone uh, Free Pass. Uh, it covers all your trains from Tokyo. It covers the, uh, the cable car, uh, the ropeway, the boat, all that stuff in Hakone. It's a great deal. Definitely pick that up. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to end it there. Great little train. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys around next time.